good tune. But I um, figured I'd talk a little bit about wheel slip. I don't think I've uh, talked much about that yet. Hold on a second. All right, I got that out of the system. So wheel slip, right now we're running one zero or one percent wheel slip. You know, I'm trying to maintain six miles an hour, but this is an aggressive hill. So you're gonna see what happens. I will cheat it up to help the tractor. See, we're at four and three. It will get to like 13 if you beat the digger all the way in. But I'll explain to you here what happens if you do that. If you let it, the wheel slip get above about 5%, I think, even above like four, you're gonna have problems with your seed bed. And I'm gonna get out here and show you guys. Maybe you can see my flag. I rigged the flag pole up. Um, you're gonna have problems with your seed bed. You can see it's a little bumpier here. Um, I'm gonna have lunch here anyways. I'm gonna stop because it's requiring two hands here in these wet spots and these steep hills. So, we'll just park her right here and it's gonna do that high idle thing that this thing does. I hate doing it, but you just shut it off while the engine's still hot. Oh well. So, wheel slip. If you can imagine, so your tractor, for easy math and for easy explaining, say you were going 100 miles an hour. If you were going 100 miles an hour, the way I understand it, and you had 1% wheel, or say you had, if you're going 100 miles an hour and say you had 3% wheel slip, my understanding is that now you're going 97 miles an hour because you lost 3% of your forward momentum that your tires are trying to go because of whatever. So in other words, this thing's so heavy <clears throat> and the hill is so steep that the tractor is basically, you're spinning out. You're not using all the forward momentum. So when you spin out, dirt packs between the lugs. When dirt packs between the lugs, then it really clumps up. And what happens is, go over here. It won't really show it in this pass too much because I'm going downhill. On my uphill pass, you'll see it. <clears throat> It'll be clumpier. And you can see there's clumps on the hill here. And that's because I'm spinning out. Not bad. And it's not something I can really avoid because the, you know, the rig's so big. But right here, I think these are my tire tracks. Is it right here and right here? It's either, well, this is for sure a tire track from the tractor. And you can see these clumps from between the tread. Packs full and then it leaves them. <clears throat> but just slice them up a little bit, but now you're leaving clumps. And you can see it's because as I was coming up the hill, I must have set it in as I came over the hill and spun just a little bit. If we go down this, well here, you can see that I must have been going downhill. There's no clumps. Tractor will walk away with it at idle, downhill. But when you fight this thing uphill, you're going to have some clumps. And that's just, you know, whatever. Wheel slip, it keeps the tractor honest. You know, you got a decent sized implement back there and you're using all your power. If you got uh, that much, um, if you got a little bit of wheel slip. Some people say a little bit, like one or two percent is, is good. That's where you want to be. Other guys say zero. Most people that I've talked to say under five. I'm trying to keep it at like two maximum today. So, I greased her up and fueled it up. We got about 120 acres out here. Uh, there's a couple wet holes, combine ruts that I went around and filled in because they weren't filled in last fall on this field. So this field could be a little bit of a nightmare. Uh, but the planter should be out here in like three hours. So I'll get have her worked up by then and cause, you know, it's drying out nicely. There's a nice, nice wind. We're just stuck behind some trees here, but it's really windy. The sun's out, so it's a good drying day. So. My basic understanding of wheel slip. There you go. If you have questions on that, uh, you know, let me know more if you want to know more about that or not. That's just my basic understanding. So, thanks for watching.